Hey, it's Denise and Percy, and uh, she just, well, you know she's in the room, and she's loud because what we're talking about today is the uh, Kong Wobbler. If you are not familiar with the Kong Wobbler, it is like a feeding toy. So it's shaped like a traditional Kong Chewy toy, only this is hard plastic. This is not a rubbery, chewy type thing, and she knows her dinner is in there. Um, so, be quiet. Let me just distract her for a minute so that I can actually show you this. Otherwise, we have to wait 10 minutes for, uh, see there's just a hole on one side. And if she's a good girl, the bottom is weighted. You can hear the bottom is like weighted. You don't, you know, that, you don't open that or touch that. That's what makes it stand back up when you knock it over. The top here is where you pour in your your dog's dry dog food. So her dog food is in here. I'm gonna scatter a couple pieces around just to keep her busy for a minute. So, yeah, it's a way to basically instead of just having your dog glomming their food down in three seconds out of a bowl, especially if your dog has a play area like my dog does. Um, she has, as you can see, she has a play pen area that is accessible from her crate. And right now she, again, knows her dinner is Percy. Be good. Can you sit? Now, she, know, she knows that she doesn't get this if she's not behaving. She has to show some manners. Sit. Wait. Wait. Okay, go ahead. Alright, yeah. She is not allowed to go just jump on things until I tell her that it's okay. Because otherwise you end up with a dog Forgive the noise, I'm talking over a fan because it's a little bit stuffy in here. And uh, the princess was a little bit, when she came in from her walk a few minutes ago, she was panting. So I have the fan on for her comfort. And uh, so forgive me if I'm having to talk a little loud to be heard over it. You can't see her well because she kind of being black and the background being dark. She kind of blends in, but you can certainly see what she's doing. She is loving getting to knock this thing around and have her food come out like anywhere from like maybe three, five, six pieces maybe at a time might fall out each time she whacks it and it flips over. And then she'll pick them up off the floor and then as you see she'll knock it over again and it kind of stands itself sort of back up. And she knocks it over again and as she plays with it you get the idea. It takes her probably about uh, 10 minutes to eat her meal out of that. A lot of days I will say take half of her dog food and we'll do training with it. You know, do a little training session. Again, she's a little over four months old. Um, she was four months on the 28th and it is now the 5th. So we try to keep our training sessions, you know, fun. We keep it light. We don't go for too long at a time. So I might use like a third to a half of her meal as training. And I did that for both breakfast and lunch today. And then let her eat the rest out of that. So it's dinner time and it's hot out. And I figured I would just let her relax and have her dinner from her Kong. So... I mean, I feel like she's kind of showing you what it does. I explained what it does. Just give me an idea of the cost. They are, you know, I would say expect to pay 15 to $18, depending on where you pick it up. Everybody has them. Walmart, Petco, Chewy, PetSmart, Amazon. You can get them anywhere. For me, definitely a good item. She is not into the complicated feeder games. There are some feeders that 
you know, you have to flip switches and push buttons and she just gives up and walks away from the food. Or she just flips the thing over and walks away from it. So she is not a dog who likes, like her drive to get the food just isn't that strong that she's going to sit there for one of those, you know, dog games that need a master's degree to get the food out of it. And, but as you can see with this, she gets, you know, she's on her feet, she's moving around, as a, and she's eating at a normal speed. She's eating a few pieces of kibble per bite instead of shoving her face into a bowl and munching the whole thing down in two minutes, which is what she would do if I just put it in a bowl. So better for her mind, better for her digestion, and to me it's just preferable. I never like to just put her food in a bowl and give it to her unless like really I have no option like before I got that and I was like you know if it was a day lit I was just sick as a dog and I couldn't stay up and and train with her I you know I would might let her eat out of a bowl one meal but generally speaking she does not eat out of a bowl. We we train for her food uh which uh, if you follow either Zach George or Nate Schomer on YouTube, both excellent dog trainers, uh, they'll both tell you that the best place for your puppy to learn to get their food is out of your hand, not out of a bowl. So, you know, this is a great way to supplement when either you don't have the time to do that or you've already had multiple training sessions with your dog. Because she and I trained outside today on a long line also. Uh, I have a 20-foot lead. We played with the baseball, you know, ten, well, tennis ball uh, outside the yard. We, she's been for a bunch of walks today. We've had a couple indoor training sessions with her prior meals. So I don't want to overdo it. So that's why to me it's like this is still fun. This is still not just putting it in a bowl for her to eat it quickly. And it's a, it's a solid-made product. Obviously, you saw it's simple to use. You just put the food in and you, you screw the, the, the bottom. Well, when you're putting it together, it's the top, obviously. You saw how I did it. You put the food in and then you screw it together. And uh, as she's demonstrating for you, the dog then, it does not take them long at all to figure out that when they fling this thing around, it flings little bits of their food out with each each one. So... Percy is giving you there a demonstration of the Kong Wobbler feeder. Um, again, it is not made of the rubbery stuff that the traditional Kong toys are made of. It is a hard plastic and it is a feeder. So don't confuse it with the Kong toys, which are smaller and meant to be chewed on. And some of those people do use those to put like moist food in, say like canned food and they'll, they'll freeze it. She couldn't be bothered. I did try that because I do have regular Kongs for her and she doesn't find them particularly interesting. So, but as far as a way to eat, like I got her a snuffle pad where, you know, where they have the, uh, like fake grass made out of felt strips, basically sewn to a, a, a base with little cups and little different shapes made out of felt. And the dog just uses their nose to snuffle through and find the food. And Lazy here couldn't even be bothered. She would just flip the pad over and couldn't be bothered. Whereas this, as you can see, she enjoys that it's a little bit rougher play. She gets to knock it around. She doesn't get in trouble for doing it. Whereas the snuffle pad is like, no, no, you're going to rip it. Don't do that. You know, it's not made to be that. It's That's definitely for dogs that are going to be more gentle and more focused and use their nose and find the food. This is for dogs who like more to play with it and knock it around and have it dispense their food as they're rolling it around the floor. So I've done lots of talking. As you've seen, it's uh, almost nine, nine minutes or so that she's had it. I can, you can hear from the sound of it that there's not as much left in there. I think she's probably just about finishing up. And you can see she's looking around too, like to see did she miss any. So, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, definitely preferable 
you know, if you don't have the time to train for a meal, or if you have a dog that rushes through their food, definitely this is preferable to just putting the food out in a bowl. It's better for the digestion. It's better for them to use their mind and to be active and thinking. So, um, yeah, I definitely give this one a definite thumbs up, recommend it. And again, you can buy them anywhere that sells pet supplies. They are easy to find. And again, it's called the Kong Wobbler. And uh, it is a feeder. It is not the chewy type mm -hmm. Kong. And you are finished. So yes, right about 10 minutes. <coughs> Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Uh, like, subscribe. Why am I pointing up? <coughs> Those buttons are down. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, comment, let me know if your dog has one of these. And if so, do they like it? Do they, you know, have a little drink? Um, do they uh, enjoy it? Because as you can see, she gets a kick out of hers and always finishes, you know, her meals. And like I said, only takes about 10 minutes. But that's much better than shoving all the food down in a few big bites. So, again... Like, subscribe, comment. I know, shameless self-promotion. Uh, I had some health issues. That's why I hadn't been uh, posting videos lately. So I'm glad to say I'm feeling better. Hopefully I'll be back posting every few days. And uh, again, welcome back. If uh, if you're someone who has seen my other videos, I'm, I'm glad to be back. And welcome if it's your first time here. So thank you and have a great day.